Hello YouTube, I'm Dr. Tactical, and today we're going to go a little bit off the reservation. As you all know, this is first and foremost a gun channel, firearms channel. We focus on all things sort of related to firearms, and as a rule, I stay away from things like politics. Uh, and it's hard. Being a gun channel, you know, being, uh, you know, working with guns and playing with guns, it's hard not to get political. But that is not the focus of this channel. However, there's one thing that I really feel that uh, I want to discuss just based on conversations I have with people, you know, all around. So let's get into it. I'm Dr. Tactical, and the doctor will see you now. Welcome back to the channel. And those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. You picked a sort of an interesting video to uh, hop in on. This is not our normal type of video, uh, but welcome anyway. And hopefully you enjoy what you see and please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Helps the channel significantly. Um, and hit the, uh, the bell, the notification bell, so that you're notified when, I usually say when more content like this comes out, although I don't know if I'm gonna do more content quite like this. Uh, this is a little bit different. Um, you know, again, as a gun person, as somebody who really enjoys, a gun enthusiast, if you will, somebody who really enjoys uh, firearms, it is hard to avoid pi uh, politics. Um, the politics sort of comes after you. Um, so I, I'm, I'm going to just briefly discuss one thing that has been on my mind because, and this is something I, I, this is something I had to explain to my kids. Uh, my kids are all voting age now, and, you know, it, 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 I hear this from, you know, in the comments section, people making references. I hear it just talking to people. Um, you know, choices are limited, unfortunately. And I, 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 you know, I tell my kids, I said, look, you know, look at people who you know, people who you respect, people you think that person could do the job. That person is who should be in charge. And then step back and notice that that person already has a job and that person's not willing to put themselves into that kind of scrutiny and to deal with the crap that comes along with a job like that. It takes a very special kind of person um, with some positive and with some negative qualities to uh, want to pursue a job like that. So here's here's the point I want to get across. And it's, it, it's short, but I, I just want, it sort of is a good way to think about politics in general. Think about the person you're voting for as public transportation. Now, this is something that I, I wish I could give credit to who I heard it from. Um, I, I don't know if I read it. I don't know if I heard it. I don't know if I saw it. Let's Probably on YouTube. There you go. We, maybe No, I didn't see it on YouTube. If I did, I, I probably would remember that because, you know, everybody remembers what they see on YouTube. Anyway, think of politicians as public transportation. Do not think of them as your personal vehicle. You're not going to go from your house to work, from work to a restaurant. You're going to th think about this as public transportation where they're going to take you. you. You pick the politician that's going to take you as close to your uh, destination as possible and then get your next ride from there closer to your destination and think of it as a series like that. Because if you're waiting around to find somebody who's going to sit there and just drive you right up your driveway, you're going to be disappointed. Now, I'm not saying they're not going to promise that they will take you, you know, from your driveway straight to, uh, you know, the Palm or wherever it is you're, you're off to. Um, they'll, they, they certainly will promise it, but you may be quite surprised where you end up getting out. So step back, look at sort of the generality, look at what they've done, look at who they are, um, and, and, and make your decisions based on just getting closer to, I, cause I've seen people, you know, I, and some of you are thinking, well, that's ridiculous. Of course I know that everybody knows that they don't, because what happens is when you, when you listen to people, especially people who choose not to vote, they'll say things like, you know, they'll have a specific thing about something. They're like, I like this. I like this. I like the policies on this, but I hate this, or I don't like this about the person. You know what? That's not that big picture. You, that's something we got to get past. I, you know, I myself have have that issue, but we're not we're not picking friends. That's what YouTube's for. There you go. You guys want a friend? I'm here for you. 
uh, check out the comment section. They, we, we, I got some really sweet people. We got some flaming assholes. We got all kinds of people in that section. And it's fun. And that's fine. And by the way, it goes for politicians too in those categories. But the point is, just pick, uh, you know, pick whoever's closest to where you want to go and then get out there and, and make your statement and vote. All right. That's it. I'm off my uh, high horse here on politics. I just wanted to, to say that because I just of things that I'm hearing and people who are talking about not voting and I know what direction they probably would vote. And then unfortunately, they're going to they affect an election just by, by choosing not to vote. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Please feel free to comment. Uh, I've tried to be as, uh, you know, neutral and everything as possible in this. I think everybody knows where I stand anyway. Uh, I'm Dr. Tactical. Dr. Tactical, out.